I want to tell you about this new word I learned. I saw it on a meme because the memes are news and school now in addition to entertainment. Can I help you? Come on. Ugh. Oh, he's the worst. So this guy has a tendency to smack into the tripod while I'm recording unless I pick him up and hold him. So he might have to just sit here for a while while we do, uh, while we talk about this. He wants to be in the show. My son's a star. There's a word called thalassophobia. Thalassophobia is the fear of the ocean slash mostly like open water where there's a big deep underground that you can't see and anything could grab you. I have this and I didn't know that there was a word for it, but there are apparently a lot of us. All right. And I'll tell you exactly why I have thalassophobia. When I was a kid, I lived kind of by a pond in our neighborhood, and I used to have horrifying recurring nightmares that I was swimming in that pond and I found a dead body. And this happened like every night. I would fall asleep and then immediately I was in that pond finding the same dead body. But the really messed up part was, the pond changed with the seasons. So in the summer, I was just like, oh, taking a dip because it was hot and boom, ah, dead guy's there. But in autumn, I'd brush aside some leaves and boom, there he was. If uh, it was winter, I would look underneath the ice and this happened, oh my God. Okay, go away. And this happened for probably a year straight. I had this nightmare almost every single night. But I think the spookiest part about this nightmare is that he looked exactly like Adam Sandler's boss in Happy Gilmore, the construction guy with the nail on his head, which is probably where my brain kept coming up with it. But ever since then, I have been terrified. Like I'll go to a lake and I'll get in because I don't want to be a party pooper, but it is always scary because I'm always afraid I'm going to find Happy Gilmore's boss somewhere.